Hello comrades, T today we're ranking my top 10 socialist animes, but, but before we start the video, let's give our blessings to, to senpai-san Karl Marx. Karl Marx Chan, it's time for your daily blessing, your daily Vaseline rub. Ah, uh, yeah, oh, yes, yes, so hot. Here, let me give you some more Vaseline. Yes. Yes. Uh, yes. Yes! A number 10 is, is definitely Naruto, because when Naruto became Hokage, he, he gave the Shinobi, Shinobi uh, workers' rights which was very epic, very, Lennon's son would be very proud. It's a very great anime. Dragon Ball Z is a great anime. It has some of the best fights and transformations in all of anime, but what really sold me on this anime was when Goku helped Fidel Castro Chen overthrow the Cuban government. It, it, it was epic when Che Guevara-san fused with Goku to, to defeat capitalism's final form. Very gamer. One Piece is, is a very epic socialist anime. When, when Luffy punched that celestial dragon, or, or as I like to call them, bourgeois, in the face, I, I busted the fattest socialist nut. It's very clear that when Luffy revolts against the world government, it's because Luffy is tired of capitalist pigs running society. I, I just can't wait for Sabo and Luffy, I mean Dragon D Monkey, to, to overthrow the world government in the upcoming Bolshevik Revolution arc. At first I thought One Punch Man was okay, I was like, where's the stakes in an anime where the main character is invincible and can defeat anyone with one punch? But then I changed my mind once I realized that the reason Saitama is so powerful is because he broke the chains of capitalism. I just gained way more respect for the anime after that revelation. It makes sense. Of course you're going to become a god if you do 100 push-ups, 100 sit-ups, 100 squats, and read 100 pages of the Communist Manifesto every day. It's just basic science that you ascend <laughs> humans after you read the Communist Manifesto. At first, I thought Pokemon was a disgusting anime. It pissed me off that the bourgeois enslaved and used Pokemon for entertainment and monetary gain. It was the perfect example of how capitalism can take away basic Pokemon rights. Although I changed my mind in the Pokemon Bolshevik Revolution arc, it was amazing to see Pikachu gather all Pokemon to take over the government killing all the filthy bourgeois pigs. What put the cherry on top was when the new communist leader Pikachu gave workers rights to all Pokemon. Very epic anime. I just loved it when Giorno Giovanna used Golden Experience Requiem to seize the means of production. Very epic. I love Psychopaths because it shows what Japan is going to be like in the future if socialism doesn't come in and give them a little bit of a wake up call. Psychopaths takes place in a society where everybody's brain is scanned to decide what job a person will have and whether the police should apprehend somebody. The reason being is that their brain scans can decide if someone will commit a crime. So basically, you have no free will in the show. But if Japan 
had a socialist revolution, things would be much better. Everybody has free will in communism, comrade. Once we have ownership over the means of production, there will be no social class that can oppress us with their brain scans. Lenin Chan would be very proud of me right now. Death Note is a great socialist anime because at the end, Light used the Death Note to kill off Nicholas II, the last Tsar of Russia, and all his family members, fully instating a communist government in Russia. That was a very gamer move of Light Yuragami. Hunter x Hunter is a great socialist anime because, uh... It's very <laughs> socialist, <laughs> I guess. <laughs> what the fuck is this video? The number one socialist anime, or let's just be honest, comrades, if it's the number one socialist anime, it's the number one anime of all time. And that anime is the leader. It's literally an anime where the main character is Karl Marx. It, it just can't get better than that, comrades. Look how handsome and charming Karl Marx is in the anime. It was just like that in real life. Very accurate. Life Plus is a king, Shrimp But Buttered is a king, Braxton Smith is a king, Lathe Irritash is a king, Kronos is a king, Firecat 1030 is a king, Fernando Escalante is a king, Landon is a king, Alisi Biades is a king, Gubs is a king, Bruno Bucciarati Body Pillow Mecca Gundam is also a king, Jasmine Martinez is a king, Aterman is also a king.